Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Zi Xu, and in this quick talk, I'll introduce Clan Extract API, uh, which is a new tool to collect and serialize API information in Clan. Um, first of all, let's get started with some background. Uh, what is this API information that I'm talking about? Um, for example, here I have a simple library of RGPA colors, and I'm providing these APIs, uh, a struct representation, and a function called add opacity. Um, the information I'm interested in includes the name and type of each API symbol, the function signature, if it's a function, comments attached to the APIs as documentation, um, any declarating attribute, uh, for example, when it was introduced or deprecated, and also relationships between the APIs. For example, here, the struct color has four members, red, green, blue, and alpha. These kinds of API information is extremely useful to library and SDK providers uh, who ship those APIs, as well as to clients who consume them. For example, I could use the information to check if I have accidentally uh, made an API breaking change in an update, uh, I could also use this information to generate and publish documentation for my library. So our goal is to enable developing such downstream tools that utilize these API information without having to write a parser again or even to understand the clan AST in the tools themselves. We've looked into some existing uh, ways that have similar purposes. First of all, clan AST dump. It does print out the information of the ASPs, uh, APIs, as you can see here uh, from the output for my previous example. It does also have the option to serialize in formats like JSON, but basically it is more of a uh, compiler engineer tools for debugging purposes and having a look of what the actual AST looks like. So it contains all the low-level details that we are not really interested in. And there's also Doxygen and other documentation-oriented tools. The problem with, uh, with these tools is that they are not super flexible to extend for other uses of the API information other than documentation. And the output formats are also typically not super flexible and friendly for additional tooling. And therefore, uh, we've proposed and developed Clan Extract API uh, which is mainly a new library inside Clan called Extract API uh, with a new front end action to invoke it to extract API information from input headers into a JSON output. The functionality is implemented inside Clan itself, uh, meaning it's also possible to use it from libclan for a wider range of integration opportunities. Now, for uh, let's dive into a little bit details about implementation and design. Clan Extract API is designed to only parse headers. Uh, if you think about it, the model of APIs in Clan-based languages is that they are declared in headers, shipped in headers, and also consumed in headers. So the headers are a sufficient and concise source of the API information that we are interested in. Um, this way, it, it also makes uh, Extract API flexible and lightweight uh, because it is independent of a full project build. Uh, to pass in the headers to Clan Extract API, you simply list out the headers in the command line with a dash x specifying the language. And from there, the headers all get included in an in-memory buffer file uh, and parsed by Clan. Then the Extract API AST consumer and visitor traverses the AST and collects information from the decal nodes. It also registers a PP callbacks to collect uh, macro definitions because those are also important APIs. And finally, the information is all fed into a serializer interface. And currently, we have an implementation of the serializer for the symbol graph format. Uh, the symbol graph format models uh, API symbols as a directed graph. In this graph, nodes are symbol declarations. Uh, for example, here you can see the, uh, the struct color with all its associated information. 
And edges in the graph are relationships between symbol declarations. Uh, for example, here it shows that the field red is a member of the struct color. Another nice feature about the symbol graph format is that it is designed to be general and language agnostic. That means it is easy to extend the format for more and future languages uh, with additional and optional fields added in the format to represent the unique language features of each language. And also, this way it doesn't require downstream tools to have a deep understanding about the languages themselves. Uh, the symbol graph format is used by Swift Doxy Symbol Kit, which brings me to the showcase of how Clan Extract API is used with Doxy. A quick introduction for Doxy. Uh, Swift Doxy is an open source documentation compiler that automates rich documentation generation. Um, it currently supports Swift and Objective-C projects. It is integrated within Xcode. It's also a standalone tool that can be used to build documentation from symbol graph files and host it on a website, for example, on GitHub pages. And Clan Extract API is used to provide API information for C and Objective-C projects uh, for documentation generation with Doc-C. As a demonstration, uh, here's my simple color library again. And with this command line, Clan Extract API information from the header and the output is passed to Doc-C to generate a documentation preview for my library. Here are some of the rendered pages from this demonstration. Uh, you can see the color struct with its members and description, and the add opacity function with the uh, function sign signature declaration snippet, and also parameters documentation from the inline comments. Another cool thing is that the symbol graph, for, uh, the symbol graph output from extract, extract API also enables uh, syntax highlighting in a uh, declaration snippets, and also a hyperlink from the parameter type color inside the add opacity uh, function signature declaration snippet to the actual documentation page of the struct color itself. And all of these without docc knowing much about the C language. A few future directions. Although my showcase is focused on documentation generation, I truly believe that Clan Extract API is capable of more scenarios where API information is useful. And supporting C++ would be another important step. And like I mentioned before, you can also implement and plug in more serializers for different output formats. Lastly, uh, here are all the references and links I've used in this talk. I had a post on uh, LVM discourse for a status update of the project in which I've also included this example, uh, so you can check it out. You can find more details or documentation for symbol graph and docc if you're interested. And finally, we had a Swift forum update on the use of Clan Extract API for docc. Uh, with included sample projects and instructions, um, so definitely try it out if you're interested. I'm really glad to be here to introduce this tool here, and I'm super excited to explore and bring it further together with the community. Thank you.